So I grew up in a neighborhood called Meyerland in Houston. And um, when I was there, Meyerland never flooded. Now it floods all the time. And I went on Zillow and I was looking at houses and I found this beautiful house. Uh, it's 5,000 square feet. It's located in a nice neighborhood, good schools. And it's selling for $86 a square foot. It has a pool. I mean, it's really a beautiful house. And if you say, wow, why is it so cheap? Um, it's because it's flooded twice. And so no one wants to buy this. No one wants to buy a house that's going to flood. And if you'll notice, it says, um, would be a great candidate to lift. So I'll talk about that in a second. Um, so, so Zillow ho helpfully gives you the tax assessed value of the house. So if you look at it, uh, it started 2002 at $435,000 and it went up through the 2000s. It went up and at 2015, it was worth $700,000. So it's, it's a nice, like I say, it is a nice house. At least it is on, um, on, on uh, from the pictures I could see. And I know the neighborhood pretty well. So I know exactly what kind of house it is. Um, and so in 2015, it flooded. So in 2016, it was worth 582,000. So it lost uh, you know, 130K value, but it didn't flood in 2017. And then 2018, it flooded again. And now the house is worth $200,000 or $265,000. Now they're trying to sell it for 429. It's been on the market for two years. And the reason they're selling it for 429, at least this is my theory, is that um, uh, if you buy a house, you can jack it up six feet off the ground. That costs about $70 a square foot. So anybody who buys this house is going to immediately get a bill for $300,000. So their attitude is, okay, it's a $700,000 house, let's subtract $300,000. But it's not selling because nobody wants to buy a house and then have to shell out $300,000. So, so, you know, I don't know who the, the owners are, but I know they've lost a lot of money. And, and so they've lost a lot of wealth. 